Hi, this is Abdullah Galal, and this is the video number four in the product costing of manufacturing items. In this video, I'm going to explain how to calculate the direct material cost per unit of production. Now, let's go back to our example. So, we have a factory that only manufactures its shares. Now, when we look at our product, the chair, we know that each chair is going to consume 2 meters square of wood and 10 nails. So these are our direct materials. And for every product, we have something that's called a bill of material, or sometimes BOM, or BOM. So the bill of material is some kind of a sheet that includes for every product what are the main components included and what are the quantities used per component. So for our chair, we have a bill of material that says that we have two components. First component is wood, we need two meters square. And second component is nails, and we need 10 pieces. So these are our direct materials or the components for our production. Now, it is very easy to calculate the cost after this. We just multiply the quantity from the bill of material by the cost of the uh, components. And I have already explained how to calculate the cost of the components in the other playlist for product costing for purchased items. So we just multiply the quantity from the bill of material by the value of every component or the cost of every component, and we get the cost of our direct materials. Now, there is also a very important point. Now, as you remember in our production process, we buy big pieces of wood, and then we use a machine to cut them into smaller pieces. Now, what if when we buy the, the wood, we actually buy them, each unit has a size of 2.1 meters, but we only need 2 meters for every chair, and we always have 0.1 meters remaining that we never use, that are sold as a scrap or thrown away. So this is called a planned scrap percentage. So for every 2 meters of wood that we use, we know that we have 0.1 meters or, or 10 centimeters of scrap that we have to throw away or we have to sell. So this is called a planned scrap. So planned scrap is a part of our manufacturing process. It's something that always happens and it's something that we include in our plan and we know that it will happen. So this is called a planned scrap. And this one should be included in our bill of material and should be included in the cost of our direct materials and should be included in our product costing. Because as you remember, product costing is a planning process we do product costing before we actually start our production. So this is planned scrap and we know it's going to happen, so it is included in our production cost. Now, what about the accidents that happened during the month? So let's say that during the month that we are actually producing, an accident happened due to lack of maintenance for the machine or due to anything, and the machine started destroying pieces of wood. This is called unplanned scrap. It is something that's unplanned. It shouldn't happen. This is a mistake. So this is called unplanned scrap. And of course, it is not included in our product costing because we have no idea that it will happen. Plus, it is something that shouldn't happen. And this is very important because this will mean that our direct material cost, the actual cost, will be higher than what we expected. And then when we run our reports at the end of the month, we can say that we actually spent more on direct materials than planned, and we start understanding that we have an issue. And then we can see what is wrong. There is something wrong with the machine. And this is one of the main objectives of product costing. But this I will explain later when I go into the details of manufacturing variances. For now, you know that we have something that's called bill of material, which includes the main components of our production and the quantity used per each component. And it also includes the planned scrap. So you know that we have something called planned scrap, which is the scrap percentage. We know it will happen. And then, you know, we have something called unplanned scrap, which is the accidents or the, uh, the wrong usage of materials that happens during the month. Now, in the next video, I'm going to go into the details of conversion cost. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.